majority in terms of the rules. Councillors were meant to vote in a new mayor today, Herman Mashaba, officially ending his tenure yesterday. Meanwhile, the DA has appointed Abel Dao as acting mayor in Tswane. He replaces Stevens Mohalaba, who's facing a probe over an alleged sex scandal involving Tswane MMC for roads and transport, Sheila Senkubure. Well, for more on all of these developments, I'm joined in studio by DA Gauteng Chairperson Mark Moraiti. Mike, it doesn't seem to rain at pause as far as your politics is concerned in the big metros. I wonder what has been going on behind the scenes. Do you feel that you have a handle on You might not have any of these measures. And we are taking the actions that are appropriate. In terms of Johannesburg, well, there you have a situation where our mayor, um, he chose to resign, and a process was put in place to, from our side, nominate a candidate and get to the situation where today we would be voting for a new mayor. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as things unfolded there, um, there was a dispute over what constitutes a majority. It needed a legal opinion, and that legal opinion is being sought. And on the 4th of December, they'll come back again. In the meantime, everything happens as normal in Johannesburg. Uh, services are being provided by a competent administration led by the city manager, Dr. Livo Lukwaredi. I imagine it's not normal behind the scenes, though, as you, number one, have to try and see how you move forward in both these metros, especially when it comes to then fielding candidates who, number one, may all go well with some of the people you'd want voting with you, because you certainly don't have the majority to do that on your own. Well, let's split that, because in the first instance, you talk about the candidates. The candidates, in terms of the DA selection system, have to go through a fairly rigorous process. Uh, it is very well prescribed in rules, so it's not uh, you know, something that's arbitrary and we just try and pick somebody who we think might be favorable. So Funzin Gubeni actually went through a three-stage number one candidate, and he is the right person for the job. He's worked with Herman Mashaba for the last three years. He's been the leader of um, government business there. He'll do a great job, but he's just got to be given a chance. However, what the voters did in 2016 uh, was to challenge, if you like, the political parties. Can you work together? They didn't give anybody an outright majority, so the seats are all split. So it's then for parties to uh, consult each other and then try and reach common cause. Uh, we managed to do that for three years. Um, we could have managed today, uh, but for the fact that uh, I think that certain parties had decided that they wanted to change the arrangements, and that's fine. That's up to them. Uh, parties talk to each other. We talk to our coalition partners. Uh, we've got very good relationships with the people that we've had in formal coalition. Uh, the one thing that wasn't well understood probably by many people uh, outside of the council was that our arrangement with the EFF was precisely that. It was an arrangement. It wasn't a coalition. They voted for us on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, they can vote for us or not for us today. And I think um, there was probably uh, more interest from the EFF side in the ANC than there was in us. Well, that's up to the EFF. But when the ANC put forward Jeff McCubo, well, then all, all, did everything uh, broke loose from there. The EFF wasn't prepared to um, support somebody who's absolutely compromised, and, and that's what happened. That it, it, it unfolded as it did. Talk, talk to us about the relationship with the EFF, because from the outside looking in, it seems to have completely broken down. Of course, publicly, they, there's no reason to believe that the DA and the EFF would continue working together in any form of arrangement when one looks at where statements that have also come out, uh, especially when you look at the recommendations from, um, you know, the, the review that was conducted internally in the DA, which said an EFF arrangement should have never been entered into anyway. Yes. Well, the, the precise words was that it was a mistake. But when the Federal Council of the DA considered that report, we thought, no, no, we don't agree with the review panel. Um, but, you know, the uh, fact is that we didn't all agree with each other. And what we needed to do was to subject this to polling. And we've um, uh, initiated a polling exercise. And we would continue. Polling proves that that's what we should do. In the meantime, we don't have a result. Uh, we
opportunity to govern, and that's what we were looking for today, on the same basis as we had before, that has worked very well for three years. Uh, I think Herman Mashaba's record and his government is an extraordinary one. And we believe that we can uh, continue that for uh, another 18 months or more. That's Julius what we wanted to do. Sure. J Julius Malema has been uh, quoted in record saying that he would not work with a white DA. Mm -hmm. uh, this is post uh, Herman Mashaba's postponed, I mean, uh, Herman Mashaba's uh, stepping down as, as mayor. Earlier on in the week, we also heard reports that um, the EFF was not returning the DA's calls. So speak to us about the level of engagement that you've managed to have with the party going into today's vote and did you have any reason to believe that you could count on their backing before the ANC certain of our own uh, councillors and we were certain of our coalition partners uh, but we were entirely uncertain of what was happening with the EFF and I must tell you, Kathy, it's been like that quite often. You go into a council meeting and you think that uh, they may do something and may support you, but you don't know, um, and you only find out when the votes are cast. Um, it's been a difficult three years on that basis, but, you know, as I say, that's what the voters gave us, and we work with it. Um, we've been relatively successful up until now. Um, I, it would be useful, though, if the um, EFF would just talk to us, even if they say, we're talking to you to tell you we're going away. Goodbye. Um, but they, we don't even get that. Um, all we pick up is in the media, which is often not something that you can bank on, because if you recall, there were times when Mr. Malema would say, we'll never work with Herman Mashaba. DA, we will work with you, but don't give us Herman Mashaba. Well, within 24 hours, that changed completely. So I don't worry about what the DA says, in, uh, what the EFF says in the media. It might change tomorrow, but I'm hoping that we'll get a call from them soon. All right, Mike, I'm going to ask you to hold that thought because I want to just get your final thoughts on Twani in a moment. We have to take a short break. You're live on News at Prime.